<laughs> I forgot that was over there. All right. Um, welcome to One Message and Bottle Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. Hello and welcome back to all my beautiful messengers all around the world in your respective places. I appreciate and love you guys so very much for every single thing that you do. Number one, being a subscriber, liking my videos, sharing my content, connecting with me in the comments, all right, because I love to know how you feel. Uh, all the love and the tips and the donations, Patreon members and personal clients, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for fucking with me the long way. I appreciate you. If you are new here, you're more than welcome to stay and join the gang. We definitely love to have you here, so subscribe if you like, or you can just give a thumbs up for general support just thank you guys for everything you're doing to help grow my channel we're on our way to 20k all right and just help me prosper and thrive keep in mind these are general readings for entertainment purposes but i be knowing what the fuck i'm talking about period all right and with that being said gang gang k-pop we international in this bitch still, all right? I believe we have an anniversary or something, or somebody let me know what it is. I don't know when I did the um the first K-pop reading because we put so many up, but yeah, let me know. Uh, Y'all, come on now. We got to get the anniversary so we can have a party, and maybe we'll do a special uh reading for our anniversary days. We'll have a vote, something, okay? So let me know. I want to put that together for all of you guys. Again, I just appreciate um, your patience and, and all of that, okay? The list is long, but you're here, okay? I tell you, eventually we will get there. In addition to K-pop, uh, with the monthly zodiacs and all the other reasons I do, everybody in their respective places. So I appreciate everyone being respectful, just hitting the notification bell, and, you know, we here. So, um, with that being said, we are doing Wang Yaring from Everglow. I believe, okay, um, some about xenophobia, backlash, uh, she's on hiatus, I believe the group, I don't know if they visited Korea or they work in Korea as a K-pop band or something and they did a greeting or something and uh, K-pop gang gang, yeah, I didn't like the way she did her greeting or something, like don't do that Chinese shit over here, <laughs> something, some, that's what y'all said, okay, like don't do that shit over here. Or uh, whatever, but uh, I think I watched like one video kind of like, hey, what the fuck is going on? Um, and then the way they had explained it, they was like, okay, but homegirl wasn't in the wrong. Number one, she was honoring her culture and she was doing it the correct way. The group was doing it like the wrong way and she was actually doing it the correct and current way. And motherfuckers lost their mind. Y'all shall be ready to, uh, hang on. I mean, ain't y'all tired of the race wars? Uh, in this case, uh, what they say, xenophobic? whatever uh chinese idols versus k-pop and like okay well you stay over there if you want to do all that uh, okay so y'all are we race like so, but don't folk and y'all like yeah y'all gang gang for real that's why i call it like gang gang like y'all mean that shit <laughs> obviously i mean I, i'm just trying to figure it out uh one thing i did uh look up and see also you guys when you leave these video requests number one I love you so much. Put all of your requests on Twitter. DM me, okay? DM me all of your K-pop requests with a thumbnail. That'd be even more helpful. Anyway, I looked up her picture. Homegirl is beautiful, okay? I will say that. So, uh, stunning, okay? So, let's check in and see. Uh, she's on hiatus because of this because y'all done bully. Y'all always bullying somebody. Gang, gang, Lord. Y'all let me know what it is in the comments, okay? Both sides. Like, is it a, like, what's going on? Uh, so she's on hiatus. I think the company ended up sending her back home and then having the group continue on as a group without it's some Destiny Child shit. A lot of that going on. I'm like, what? Y'all to tell homegirl to get her bags or whatever. They say she, uh, you know, pursuing her interests or whatever, but we'll see how she really feels about this whole situation what's going on what's the future will she be back or whatever so number one i want to know how sis feels about this whole situation yeah she like moving on <laughs> that's what that was giving me moving on okay yeah i like this 
I like this. I like this. I do feel like she's feeling uh, iced out and isolated from the group. Okay. She's one of the main ones here. All right. A little hurt feelings here. Possibly. Definitely. Definitely wounded over the situation with the Nine of Wands uh, energy. She's giving like, was she the leader of the group here with that Empress energy? All right. I feel like she misses her friends. Okay. With this Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Um, misses working with them. Misses celebrating with them. Uh, okay. Having a good time. All right. I feel like she's definitely ready to come back to work, is waiting, like she might be waiting on the phone call or waiting on the news, okay, passionate or looking forward. I feel like she's definitely looking forward to new, proje uh, new projects or if they're going to work on like a new album or a comeback or something like that. I don't really know what's going on with the group because I wasn't able to find out much, so uh, I don't know what they're doing, but I feel like sis is... Uh, definitely uh well she's definitely in her studies like she said she at home uh figuring out new ways to do things sharpening her skills also is what i'm hearing um maybe studying also learning from the greats here yeah i see sis uh, plotting not only a huge comeback for the group but i feel like for herself like you know what when she pull up bam like i'm gonna pull up like this like i'm gonna pull up like that bitch like she's already again very very pretty girl uh so if she's like that just on that level i feel like sis is really going to come back like um something greater something more refined here with more skills more just bringing even more to the group and i feel like not only will gang gang will you guys celebrate her but also uh celebrated by her friends for uh elevating the game um here with this group and their music and uh i feel like after she uh goes or whatever she's doing back in her hometown uh learning all these new skills and endeavors and just finding herself and just being happy and being in her culture like yeah, i told her to go home look like bitch was home <laughs> she's like okay i don't want me here cause i go you know or the company you know decided to send her back i feel like either way she was like okay cool i'm gonna just go do uh this she might look at the whole uh situation uh it's very childish and people needing room to grow and all that and it's like okay if you feel that passionate about it cool i don't see her wasting her time she's definitely uh again gaining new skills studying writing uh all of that okay uh, so when she comes back, it's like it only made her uh, better just because of how she um, addressed uh, the issue. OK, I feel like it's good for everybody. OK, um, feeling heavy uh, disappointment, heavy judgment. OK, uh, I feel like feeling the weight of uh, if she is one of the leaders in this group here. But um uh, like everyone's looking at her and uh, just the feeling of being judged, but knowing like I'm coming from a right place. I, you know what I mean? Like if that's what you want to do, cool. But um, I know what side, I know what my intentions are here. Okay. Feeling scrutinized and all of that. But having strength in the midst of, yeah, this is like uh, dignity. This is like refinement here. I'm giving, uh, she moves and works with the utmost uh, regalness, um, integrity, uh, fierceness. Okay, she knows how to turn it on and turn it off. Like, um, just a real, like, I like her. Okay. Yeah, she definitely feels estranged uh, from the group, feels iced out here. It doesn't um, change how she sees herself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, if that's what they like, cool, but I'm going to focus on the good things. The sanctuary is in the background. That's one of the things about Five of Pentacles energy when you're being left out in the cold, when you're being excluded or whatever. It may be fucked up. It may be cold. You may, you know, not have on the proper uh, whatever, whatever, but there is a positive aspect somewhere it depends on what you choose to 
focus on. There is a sanctuary uh, it, in the storm. I'm also hearing the eye of the storm. She just chose to focus on uh, things that will make her uh, even greater. Okay. It's like, you know what? I needed that time. I needed that time to grow and to uh, blossom into this uh, queen basically here with this uh, empress energy here. Um. I don't really see her anymore. Maybe this judgment energy. Capricorn does follow judgment here. Um, but yes, definitely feeling and maybe even judged by her peers here. I feel like with this three of wands energy, she feels like that the group is moving on without her. Okay. Um, and that's hard to watch with that three of cups, three of wands energy. All right. Um, but again, it doesn't take away from who she is and how she sees herself. You know, like, mother, like, y'all just childish. Y'all got problems. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But I feel like it's the fact of why didn't you fight uh, for me harder or why, you know, why am I the one <laughs> being, you know, uh, Ascend to whatever island, wow, whatever. I feel like overall, though, again, uh, she's going, she's looking at, uh, I see new opportunities coming in for her because while some may be excluding, I feel like there are others that are looking at how she is handling this situation and there are people that are willing or have a desire to uh, <laughs> sow seeds so this three of wands energy is also her looking at her uh ships coming in okay i do feel like she has a good group of, of, of friends it's not like you know i don't wish um any ill or anything like that towards you i want you guys to have fun i want you guys to whatever but you know uh also if great things happen for me good okay but i still feel like it's hard for her um or it was i don't know if they're back together or what's the state but it was hard for her to watch them carry on and she missed that time um those times but i also feel with this real watch energy that she does have um her own opportunities uh, come in because when she uh, reintroduces herself into society, okay, um, she will have grown and become uh, that much greater here. Yeah, she's definitely hard at work. Definitely hard at work. It's a beautiful thing. It's almost like with the Six of Wands energy, her escaping or, you know, Six of not six of wands, six of swords energy is when you escape to higher ground. All right. It looks like she had, maybe she had a family member take her back home or maybe one of the girls escorted her um, back home. I feel like it was a, an emotional um, time, but it's like looking back in hindsight, I'm, I'm kind of glad I got this time. All right. I'm kind of glad I got this time to really focus and see what I want. This is definitely her uh, in school or whatever this is she went out to do, maybe in a big city or she went to some cities or something like that and um, perfected her art or you know how you lock yourself up in the studio, whatever this is. All right. Um, it's like a rejection was a blessing um, in this case. Definitely with this magician energy, like when she comes back, especially with this empress, like uh, just basically um, unstoppable here. They're not going to be able to catch up with her. So it, it, it almost, I mean, it doesn't backfire, but it does because she comes back like, I mean, I'm pretty sure she still would, you know, she's still going to be great. Again, she's a stunning girl. And I don't know what her skills was. I thought I saw homegirl do a backflip or something. Whatever it is, but she working, she working hard with this eight of pentacles and this three of cups probably working with new people. It's a lot of threes here. Okay. Three of pentacles, three of cups, three of wands here. Um, heavy energy with that. Also, I feel like having the energy to move on or to reassess or, you know, hell, she, with this energy. That's when you've accomplished everything, every stage here, every queen, queen of wands, queen of swords, queen of pentacles, uh, queen of cups here, and you're the empress. You you embody all of them. All right. So by the time you get to this level, bitch, you're gonna need your own team. <laughs> that's what it's looking like. Okay. Uh, that's what it's looking like. I feel like she's utilizing because again, the empress is all four queens. She's utilizing every corner. Okay. And right now she's in that queen of swords energy, like how 
how can I, um, you know, make your next move the best move, okay? So I feel like in this case, rejection is protection. Uh, should she decide to go that way? It's okay, cool, I'm gonna sit over here. Hell, she might need to hire her own team, all right? She might need to start auditioning people. I don't know what her money look like. I don't know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and that's why I'm here and that's why y'all love me. You let me know. But I'm saying this is the energy, the future, like that would be the advice, okay? Because she has the potential. You take all these things and you put them to use. So um, by the time she grows into this, okay, or starts walking into this path, this empress, she will need her own team. She will have her own people um, celebrating her. You know, it's like it's being pre prepared to move on if necessary, if I need to here all right so again the rejection you sending me away uh you sending uh me away and all that it worked out for my benefit i had the ability to lean on my own strength and look forward uh to a future uh possibly a future without the group but uh, again even so yeah i feel like she like she got so much love here i'll tell you with that queen of cups energy here and very confused about what you know like why am i on the outside looking in yeah man she's so confused all right uh yeah i can understand like oh yeah it's kind of messed up y'all hurt her feelings like why y'all so mean y'all hurt her feelings she's like i give this i do this i do this uh she's a, a very talented um young lady here y'all put down in the comments everything that she does but she confused as fuck. She was like, I was only trying to give love. I was only being respectful. She trying to figure out what the fuck she did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, and even though it was, uh, they were talking about the greeting. It's, I, I, it's the fact that y'all was loud and wrong. <laughs> like from what I understand. Because everything I heard, it was like, nah, she was doing what she was supposed to do. And uh, there was no ill, nothing behind it. It's, here she is doing Queen of Cups. Even though she's a Capricorn, but she, she's confused. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's like, it's fucked up. Like, how you gonna put me out of uh, whatever? You know? So it's like... Uh, People may have judged her, but she's also, the, you know, able to look up on these people. And she judging a lot. Yeah, like, ah, okay, that's how y'all move. That's it. Well, let me reassess. Okay, this is a very, very, very smart young woman here. Um, but again, yes, I feel some hurt feelings and confusion on, you know, uh, I don't know why it's this way, but I do. But at the same time, uh, still loving herself and still looking at all of her talents and everything that she has to give. Like I can pick from any one of these and uh, do whatever here, you know, create opportunities here with this Ace of Wands here. Uh, she's got a lot of things uh, going on in her head and uh, planning her life, planning on, you know, it like uh, one monkey don't stop no show. <laughs> That's what I heard. You just keep working. You just keep, you just keep working. You keep just heavy manifest uh, how other people feel. Uh, can't affect uh, her vision. She has too much talent. She has just too many opportunities. You know, she's she sees her future. Again, this rejection and whatever this, she know it's some mess, you know, but again, that can deter her from the vision and also seeing that, you know, who she is at the end of the day and knowing that she's operating as she should in alignment and all that. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is, is what it looks like. That's pretty cut and dry um, to me here. So what is the outcome of all of this for her? What is the outcome for Yiren? With this ousting from Everglow. Will she come back to the group or... Oof, I was a jumper. Is she humble too? She's a generous queen. Yeah, she a generous queen. I definitely see her going solo. So this is the star energy, all right? She got enough for herself or is taking time to get her studies on. Uh, yeah, heavy. I don't know if she writes, sing, dance, choreograph, whatever. She own it, okay? And she's growing and getting better day by day. I don't even feel like she's rubbing it in nobody's face, okay? Because she's humble. She's on one knee here and she's here uh, to help everybody. This is her pouring into the group. 
group here. You know, I got enough love. I got enough talent. I got enough skill and all that. Whether you here, whether you ain't, you know, I can either give to you. Cool. You need help. Cool. Uh, if you don't want me here, you see these cactuses here. My, the cactuses in these pictures always remind me of somebody that's hating or feel some type of way uh, or whatever. And that could represent anybody. Y'all let me know who been hating on sis. Somebody could be somebody in the group. Uh, maybe an Aquarius. I don't know. All right. But she's like, I, I can love you too. And I know like, even though you can't stand me, I can give you just enough energy, just enough, uh, whatever to make sure you don't die. You understand what I'm saying? But very humble. And, uh, right now just pouring into, uh, pouring into herself. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, don't take it personal, not taking it personal or whatever. Yes. Um, yeah. Five of Pentacles again, the outside looking niche. Like, yeah, I take my balls, go like, yeah, you're lost here. <laughs> like, not even understanding. It seems worthless, like a waste of time here. But uh, it's like at the end of the day, I still have, uh, at the end of the day, I still have me. You know, the world is big. There are plenty of opportunities. I can, look, she's so talented. Like, I could do so many things. And uh, she definitely feels betrayed here. I don't know if it's by the group. I feel like definitely K-pop K gang gang, uh, some of the group, but they didn't stand up for. I don't know what the situation is. But with this dog, you see how it's tied to uh, this uh, unicycle? She like, you know, if anything, I can be loyal to myself. At the end of the day, I have myself. Uh, I don't need anybody to toot my own horn. I could toot my own motherfucking horn because I could chew bubble gum and hula hoop at the same time, basically. Um, here. Uh, it's a burden that she's willing to carry, all right? She knows that, yeah, she knows that this is nothing but the devil with this ten of wands and this devil um, energy, okay? Uh, trying to overload or trying to, she's like, you know what? I'm just going to take what belongs to me and I'm going to go over here. You know, it's like, if I do something wrong, cool. I'll go somewhere. You can teach me. You can educate me and I'll go somewhere and correct it or apologize. But it's like, that is not this case here. <laughs> that is not the case, all right? So you're not going to give me no more than what's already assigned to me this is my stuff this is your stuff she's leaving them behind you know so it's like cool you want me to go home uh fine it's fucked up but cool and i'm gonna just leave you uh again to uh fight your own demons basically uh, somebody else in the zodiac um had this in the fire signs all right yeah intuitively she knows she gonna be okay here all right, this is her with all her tools. Uh, now she, she knows some things too. She could say some things too, but she don't. All right, she that's just the type of woman uh, she is. There are so many opportunities, so many things going in the work. Her future looks bright. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, let me know down in the comments. Uh, you can also uh, like this video, subscribe. Okay, leave your video requests on Twitter. Uh, K-pop gang gang extended videos are on Patreon exclusively. Um, part two for a certain uh, big, you know, video readings and all that. It's five dollars a month. You get three videos. So don't forget about that. You can also tip me below if your video request came up. You can do that by Cash App or PayPal. All the information is in the description box. I love you. I love this reading. Okay, beautiful girl again. Um, and all that with the highest love. It's me, one.